Our story begins in the bustling port city of Punta Arenas, nestled deep in the southern reaches of Chile, with a diverse group of unique, charismatic, and intrepid individuals boarding a vessel bound for the very fringes of the earth. They had traveled from across the planet, bags packed full of adventurous desire and naivety, all converging on the ocean endeavor, a rugged and yet subtly majestic vessel embarking on a journey into the unknown. They each had the reasons for traveling, some more obvious and distinct than others, but they shared a common objective the entirety of which was predicated on the ultimate eventuality of their journey. Antarctica. The Endeavour powered along during its multi-day crossing of the elusive and historically rough Drake Passage, providing our travelers myriad opportunities to entertain themselves and get to know one another. Strangers no more, they would find that almost entirely without intention their paths had become irrevocably intertwined. A result of not only their time together, but out of a not too dissimilar commonality yet to be discovered. It would come in due time. After days of travel, and with a misty snow and howling wind about, the ghostly horizon finally gave way to Antarctica's rocky, icy, and ethereal landscape marking the beginning of their, our, time on the seventh continent. Venturing ashore would prove to be a bit of an undertaking. No matter though, they were in Antarctica. Cold, sure, uncomfortable, entirely. They weren't seeking the warmth and comfort of home. They came here because it was not easy. They're here to experience the things they can find nowhere else and to experience them together. The travelers pressed on with their journey, further south into the Antarctic Peninsula, as they delved deeper into the frozen wilderness, quietly seeking meaning in it all. To some, this trip served as a foray into the naturalist world. A reminder that there still exists a 5 million square mile landmass on this planet devoted in its entirety to both peace and science. To others, an exclamation point at the end of a lifelong endeavor to set foot on every continent, and maybe see some penguins along the way. For me though, Antarctica reiterated, in all ways imaginable, our never-ending desire for connection, our consistent, hopeless, and beautiful in every way, longing to simply mean something. Whether that is to a person, or a penguin, or a simple nod to posterity itself. We yearn for meaning. Our travelers had discovered their commonality. Our travelers had journeyed to the farthest reaches of Earth. And in the process, they had found themselves. They found each other. With whom, they had gone all the way to Antarctica. And back. I really know. Are we going to have him overboard? When do we get there? <laughs>